Are cheap guitars on Amazon worth it? That is the question that I'm going to be answering for you today. If you follow my channel at all, you know that I teach mostly beginner guitar tutorials and I get questions all the time about what's the best beginner guitar, what would I recommend, are there any affordable options so you don't have to make such a big investment for something you're not sure you're gonna like or be good at or any of that. When you're looking to learn a musical instrument, you're looking for something that's affordable but also like looks and sounds good. So that's what I'm here to talk about today. Hello guys, it's Nina. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy that you're here. And if you're not new, how's it going? Today, I am bringing you another Amazon guitar review. And this time we are going to be reviewing a guitar from Mirio. And they reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking if they could send me a product to review in my video. And since you guys liked the last one, I thought I would do it again. So again, these products are going to be found on Amazon. A few disclaimers before we get started. This video is not sponsored by Mirio. However, they were kind enough to send me this product for free so that I could review it for you. So I just want to say thank you to Mirio for sending this to me. So grateful that I can share this review with you guys. Also, I made sure with them that I could give my full, honest, unbiased opinion of their product. So everything I say is my 100% true opinion. I'm not going to recommend something to you guys that I personally wouldn't use myself. So this is gonna be a completely honest review. Okay, so the product that they sent me was their black cutaway acoustic guitar like beginner set. The link to everything is gonna be in the description box down below. This set is $109.99 on Amazon and it also is available for Prime if you have Amazon Prime. They have two different colors, I believe. They have black and then they have like a normal wood color. And it's a very similar set to the one I got when I was a beginner. I was like nine or 10 and my parents got me a set that had like the capo, the strings, picks, and all those things that you need to just like get started. So I love when it comes like all inclusive with all that stuff because it's a lot more money to buy all of that separately. And the fact that it comes with all these things with the guitar at an already pretty low price is great. I'm always a bang for your buck kind of gal. Okay, so when the guitar arrived at my house, it's in this big box, I'll show you. Looks like this. I took off some of the wrapping already just for time purposes, but let me get this out so we can see. The one thing I did notice is in traveling, it didn't have much protective stuff around it and it didn't show up in the case. It showed up like this, but it's good. There's nothing wrong with it as far as I can see in traveling, so that's good. The strings are wrapped up, so let's have to take that off. Here we have it. It's a nice matte finish. So before we get into this review, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm gonna be looking for. So first of all, I'm gonna give my first impression. Then we're gonna talk about the specs and the wood and like actually what this is made out of. I'm gonna talk about the tuning and the strings. I'm going to play it, do a little demo so you can see how it sounds, what I think of how it sounds and then just kind of like my overall opinion about it. So yeah, let's get into this already. So first I'm gonna show you guys everything it comes with and then we'll get to the guitar. It comes with a case and it's all kind of folded up. It looks good. It's um, it's a, like a flimsy kind of case. It doesn't have any like structure to it, like a hard case, like a padded case like I have for my Taylor guitar. But if you just need to take it somewhere, it's good to just like transport it. You gotta be careful though, cause it's like pretty thin. I like that it has back Pack straps because I just I like carrying it as a backpack and not I don't even know if it has the side thingy oh yeah it does this thingy you could carry it and it has a front pocket to put all your stuff in your little accessories so not bad not the best case I've ever seen but it does the job okay so it comes in this little baggie the rest of the stuff and it actually comes with a pick guard so this can go on the guitar right here and if you didn't know, pick guard is obviously there to protect your guitar from getting hit with your pick because this has happened to me before where I like I'm strumming and I had no idea that your pick can like leave little divots in your guitar. So to prevent that, you could put this on here. The next thing is this little tuner, which I'll use to tune the guitar. And I love these tuners because they just clip on the end of your guitar. So if you think your guitar is a little out of tune, it's already right there. You can just tune it up. So it comes with this little battery. You got to put it in here. Okay, 
So I'll use that when I tune it up and see how good I like it. Next thing in here is this little cloth. You just use it to like wipe off the dust or whatever. We have strings. They kind of come free flow in here. They're just kind of like all wrapped up in a coil. It's good though to have extra strings when you're beginning because sometimes you either strum too hard, you do something wrong and just snaps and then you're without a string and you'll be less likely to play the guitar if your strings are broken. So good that they have these. One thing I will say is that if you don't like the sound of the strings your guitar came with, you can buy nicer strings to put on your guitar and it will upgrade the sound a little bit. For me, I really like the Taylor and the Martin like elixir strings. I think they sound really good. They're not too heavy for beginners. If you get them for your guitar, it will kind of like level it up a little bit. So if you don't like the ones it comes with. Um, it comes with a strap, which is good. It helps with your posture if you have a strap. When I was younger, I used to like choke up on the guitar. I didn't have a strap and I just like wasn't helpful. It's pretty basic black strap. The one thing though that I noticed when I took this guitar out is that it has a knob right here but it doesn't have one here anywhere to put it here. I'm assuming it came with this little string so that you could tie it. I'll show you guys what I mean. How does this work? One second. Oh. There we go. Okay, I finally got this tied here, but essentially you tie this string here, attach it to here, and then it's kind of like this. It's a bit snug for me. I would definitely not play guitar this way, but if it's the only way to put the strap on, I would because I definitely play guitar more when it has the strap on it. Like my straps are on my guitars at all times so I could just throw it on, walk around, jam out. So anyways, I probably wouldn't prefer this way though. So just be aware that it doesn't have the knob here. Otherwise it works, it does the job. And then also it comes with some picks, which you we always need picks. Very large, <laughs> these are very big picks. Okay, so the one thing that I notice is that it doesn't come with a capo, which makes me very sad because if you watch my channel, you know I love my capo and I think it's really important for beginners to have one. And it's not that cheap to buy one, it's like $5 on Amazon, but it would have been convenient if it came with a capo, but not required. That's everything that comes in the little beginner pack. And now I am going to give you my first impressions of this and tell you about all the materials and everything. Okay, like I said, I really like the matte finish, although I noticed some like rough spots on it. It is a little bit bumpy around the sound hole and the paint is kind of like not really consistent, but again, for a cheap guitar, you can live with it and it's fine. If I was spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a guitar, yeah, I would be concerned about the paint and stuff, but honestly, as a beginner guitar, there's just some things that come with being a cheap guitar and the quality of the painting is just one of them. Other than that, it looks fine. There's nothing like too wrong with what it looks like. Okay, let's talk about the specs and makeup of the guitar. So this guitar is a 41 inch acoustic guitar, brass wood body, mahogany head, chrome knobs, steel strings, has a nice cutaway design here so that you could play up on the neck. Under their description, it says this is recommended for guitarists over 14, beginners and adults, but honestly, I would recommend this for younger than that, maybe 10 and up, because when I started out, I was like nine, and my guitar was bigger than this, and it was fine for me. I do like how small this part is. The biggest problem when you're young is that your arms are not as long, and so you're kind of like hunching over the guitar. So I would say this is fine for like, 10 and up, but definitely for beginners. So overall quality, I would say on par with other beginner guitars. When you're buying a beginner guitar, you're not looking for the best of the best yet because you just, I feel like you need to put your time in. You know what I mean? Like I played my beginner guitar until I was 16 or 17, I think. I didn't get a nice expensive guitar until I was like a junior senior in high school. So I've been playing my guitar for years before I actually got one that was more expensive higher quality wood, all that stuff. When you're beginning, you're looking for a 
functional instrument that sounds good and that you can learn on. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the strings and then I'm gonna tune it up. Getting the guitar in the mail, obviously the strings are gonna be loose because strings need to be loose and travel so that they don't break. Okay, so I'm gonna use the tuner that they gave me, which is this one right here. I'm trying to see how it works, if there's buttons or... Maybe I didn't put the battery in right. I literally don't know. Oh, 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 I almost have it. I got it on. It's gonna have like a light up blue string. Oh, okay. So then you just clamp it on the end like this. The knobs on the guitar seem kind of tight. I don't know why. You know what? I'm having a hard time with this tuner because it's not picking it up fast enough. You probably are going to be better off if you just have the app on your phone. Honestly, that's how I tune my guitar because it's just so much faster. Oh wait, guitar. What? Bass? Ukulele? Oh! Huh? Okay, this has many different settings. There's guitar, ukulele, something else. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, I probably am just gonna use my phone. So not my favorite tuner I've ever seen. And if you guys don't have this app, you should get it. It's called Guitar Tuna. Love this. This is such a process. Okay, I have finally got it tuned. So what I'm noticing with just tuning this guitar, it took me a while because I had to keep going back and tuning because they came untuned really fast. So we'll see how uh, fast it comes out of tune, but that's something you have to be aware of with beginner guitars because they come untuned faster. But just like anything, you kind of have to break it in, break in the strings, and then they'll relax. You won't have to tune it as much. Another thing about the strings I notice is that they're very light, so that's good. They're easy to press down on and that's always good for beginners because you're just now getting those calluses Okay, so now we're gonna see how this sounds and we're gonna demo some songs I actually think it just came out of tune in the first couple minutes here So that's what I'm noticing is that this guitar is coming out of tune pretty fast, which I don't love So keep your tuner nearby <laughs> my initial reaction not bad. I'm actually surprised. Yeah. What I will say is it does sound pretty brassy with the strings, but like I said, you could try to put some nicer strings on it and see if that improves the sound. I'm sure it would. So now I'm just gonna demo a couple songs and see how I like the sound of it. I'm gonna put a capo on it and see how the tuning holds up. Ooh, why is it doing that? <laughs> what? That's not how it's supposed to sound. It's not bad at all. It sounds, it has a very full sound. Very like loud, bright, which is surprising to me. Let's try some picking, shall we? Ooh. It's a little buzzy. What the heck? Oh my God, that's so weird. Now I get it, okay. The capo is essentially also capoing the next fret for this first string. It's not allowing anything. That's so interesting. I wonder if it's just the string or the height of the frets. I'm gonna try another capo and see if it still does the same thing. Yeah, no, it doesn't do that. That is inconvenient for sure. Maybe it's just that fret. Okay, yeah, just be aware of that. It's kind of weird. My overall opinion of the sound is that it's pretty good for a cheap guitar. I wouldn't say it's amazing. And there is some issues with the frets and if you wanted to put a capo on it. It's a little bit buzzy if you're using a capo. Like the strings kind of like vibrate like, like that, which is not 
something I like. But overall, it'll get you through your beginner years. If you don't have a ton of money to spend and you need something to just get started, I urge you to just buy an instrument, even if it's not the highest quality. The reason I do these videos is to encourage people to just start. It doesn't matter if you have the best of the best or something that's at the very cheaper end of the instrument, because once you upgrade to that really nice guitar, you are going to appreciate it that much more. But I think beginner guitars are so essential to the guitar journey, you know? They're like, I still haven't got rid of my beginner guitar because there's just so much sentiment even though it's not the best guitar I've ever owned. But yeah, that's my overall demo of the sound. And to kind of wrap this up, among all the beginner guitars, I can't speak for any other brands. I can just speak for the ones that I have tried myself. I would say this is like maybe like a 6 out of 10 beginner guitar. It's got quirks for sure, but if you give it a little bit of time to break in, maybe get some nicer strings on it, you can definitely start your guitar journey with this kind of guitar. The price point is honestly unmatched. Guitars are so expensive these days and to get this whole set for around $100 is pretty good. My other guitars are upwards like four to $700 for like a nice upgrade and then it just keeps getting higher and higher the higher quality you go. But if you were looking for a low commitment purchase so that you can learn guitar, just try it out, see if you like it, I would recommend something like this. Mario has an Amazon page that you can go to. They have all kinds of other instruments. They have this guitar set and then they have this one in a different color. I will put a link in the description box for this exact set as well as the link to their shop page. I can't speak for any of their other instruments but I can speak for this product in my review. So if you liked what you saw in this video, you can go check out those links. And I'm just gonna add this here at the end because on my other review video I got some comments that are like you're just saying positive things because they sent it to you for free Why are you recommending this guitar? It's not that good And there's a reason they're this cheap is what I'm saying. Of course, they're not gonna sound the best Of course, they're gonna have little quirks But my point is I want to review products that are affordable for beginner people and give you my honest opinion This is a hundred percent my honest opinion and I have disclosed that I was sent this product for free, but I w am not required to say anything good about it. And I'm telling you that beginner sets are good for people who want to get started on their guitar journey. That's what I'm here for. That's what this channel is all about. So anyways, let me get off my soapbox. I truly just want you to guys to know if these guitars are worth purchasing or not. And with that, I'm going to say thank you to Mirio for sending me this guitar. It was very kind of you. I'm excited to break this one in, maybe put some new strings on it, see what I can do. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this review. If you guys like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of guitar you have, if you have one or if you don't have one. I just like to see what other guitars people have. And don't forget to subscribe because I post a new video every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, this fell. Oh, I forgot what I said. What did I say? You tie this around the neck part? Oh. Hold, please. Come on.